Hi Libra, welcome back. So Libra, this is going to be your mid-December read. Oh, I thought you had a card fly out. Anyways, <laughs> this is going to be your mid-December check-in. Thank you for uh, coming to my channel. If you're new, please do like, share, and subscribe. If you're returning, thank you. So, Libra, let's see what we got going on for you for mid-December for my Libras. And hope you're doing well. So, Libra, the energy that you have out is the Nine of Pentacles, which is talking about comfort. You know, wanting to be surrounded by comfort. <laughs> uh, wanting to... Um, at the same time, be very independent, okay? Because the Nine of Pentacles also talks about being in a place in life where you're comfortable enough with self or maybe financially that you have the freedom, you know, to kind of do and be who you want. And it's it's a beautiful energy to be in, you know? Um, so I feel like you're going to be, uh, I guess, focused on that, you know, either building that up or just simply appreciating where you're at. And then you have Gemini energy here. Could be dealing with one, could be in your chart, or just the energy around the situation. This is this is very curious and a communicative energy. So I feel Libra, you're going to be, you know, open to friendships and social connections and communication during uh, mid December through beginning of 2020. This is all about that social piece of you and feeling connected. Um, feeling confident as well. You know what I'm saying? So I actually like this uh, energy for you. Libra. So let's go a little bit deeper, shall we? And then you have the four of cups out. So I do feel like I like when this card came out, I just want to tell you this. It was out of the blue. My heart sank. You know, um, and then I look down and, and what come out is the four of cups, ten of swords. So I feel like this is past energy, but it's heart, it's heart sinking energy. And it's really, really affecting me right now. I'm tearing up. <laughs> so I feel like, you know, in the past, um, you may have really underwent some painful emotional things that you had to go through. Um you know, in order to put you in this place now where you're more self-confident and independent. Um, so in that respect, you came out a better person out of the other end of this. But on the other respect, you don't easily heal from wounds that deep, you know. And um, although I do feel that you're, you're doing a much better job of distancing yourself from that, I, I do feel that it's, it's still present to some degree or another. And I feel like for a lot of you, this is being brought back to the surface because of, you know, some communication that you're getting. If you've had an ending here, somebody wants to reconcile and they may be communicating that with you. And it, it kind of, in a way, puts you back into remembering what this person did. You know? And I think maybe you thought you had let it go, but I don't think that you you had fully let it go because there's still disappointments here. Okay, for others of you that didn't have an ending, this is just simply the energy of reconciling in yourself what you need to feel and what you need to reconcile in order to move forward and leave this disappointment in the past, you know, leaving the past in the past. That was an unexpected and a heavy energy there. So, um, I feel, now you can you have Libra in any placement, but I feel like my Libra Moon people will feel this um, deeper than the Libra Suns. But you know, take it as it resonates. It's for both. Okay. Then here's the Seven of Cups. This is a confusing, confusing energy, and it's also a delusional energy. So I feel like it's like here comes the sun, you know, for you, Libra, and your social circle is being highlighted. There might, like I said, there's a lot of 
communication or opportunities to connect here. But at the same time, sometimes you get stuck looking at, you know, past disappointments that get you all in your head, it gets you in your emotions, it gets you confused. And it's, it's like a stagnation in your energy. And I feel, um, I wanted to say blame game, you know, could be blaming someone or yourself. But here's the good news. Here comes the sun, sweet darling. <laughs> Here comes the sun. Paired with the paired with the strength card, some of you could be a Leo for absolute sure, but uh, for others of you, this is just the energy of finally reconnecting with your inner child, with your happiness, being confident again, sh being strong, looking your fears in the face and conquering them. And you've yes, you've had to go through painful things in the past, but that built you up to the point now where you are strong enough to overcome any type of energy that comes your way, or if it's a specific person and this person is coming back towards you during this time frame, they're not gonna find the same Libra that they found the last time because you've changed. You're stronger now, okay? So if, you know, events are repeating or people or you have people who remind you of other people that you've dealt with in the past, you know, that type of thing coming up for you at the end of December, I feel like they're going to be surprised, Libra, at how, you know, they think they're coming back to that same energy and that energy is gone, you know, that energy has transformed into, you know, from this to this. So good for you. Good for you. Now, Libra, uh, there is a few cautions here, and that is, you know, uh, you might feel a little bit anxious during this time frame, a little bit like restless. Um, so, you know, try to um, rest your mind, uh, do some meditations if you believe in meditation, and just have time alone because I feel that anxiety energy here or like a restless energy, a fidgety energy, and that will help you get it out. Um, you know, and the other thing is, is it's important to keep your wits about you. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, I feel that you're very connected during this time frame. But, um, so I, I don't think that's going to be a problem, honestly. But just, I guess, take heed of that. So... Now I'm going to go into the person you might be dealing with for my Libras. Person Libra might be dealing with. You have the King of Wands. Okay. Now it actually wanted to come out in the reverse. Um, so I feel like whoever you're dealing with, you know, it's a masculine energy, but it certainly could be male or female because it is a general reading. Now we have the Hermit out. Um... I feel like this person has quite the temper during this time frame, maybe very impatient, egotistical, um, your, your cross watcher is going to be mad at me. They just, they don't have good like mood control at times. Okay. That's what I feel. And it's like, okay. <laughs> now all of you are dealing with men, but what I have pictured in my mind is a crotchety old man. <laughs> No matter how old or young or female or male, that's how that's how they're showing up in my brain. This is a crotchety old man. Your cross watchers are definitely giving me a thumbs down right now. <laughs> I just read the cards, people. All right. Oh my gosh, King of Cups. Are you freaking kidding me? Four of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Well, that's exactly what I was talking about, wasn't it, Libra? This person has multiple personalities or multiple sides of their personality that they show you. And it's because they don't have good temper control. They don't have good temperament. They have not learned uh, how to necessarily control that within themselves. So it, it's certainly confusing to you because it's confusing to this person. They haven't learned that skill yet. Or at least during this time frame, they're having trouble 
really getting it together, okay? Because I have the King of Wands in the reverse and this person's energy, the Hermit, and then the King of Cups. So it's like, you know, one minute they're emotionally open and viable, the next minute they're closed off, and then they're maybe angry, and then back and forth, back and forth, you know? Um, I just feel a lot of erratic energy over here. Um, then they have the Four of Pentacles, which is a fixed nature about this person. It could certainly be a fixed zodiac sign, um, but it doesn't have to be. But it, it's a, like a, a fixed position of this person. They might be a very stubborn person. They might be difficult to, someone that's difficult to change their mind or sway them or push them any other, uh, any other way that they want to go. Very self, self-assured. Well, the, quite smug for someone that has very little emotional control, I'd say. <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, you know, you're quite confident for someone who hasn't figured it all out, you know. Um, high priestess here though. So I do feel there's more than what, you know, you know, goes on. There's more going on underneath than I think that, that, you know, okay. Um, because this is kind of like a reading between the lines type of energy. This may, this person may have a bad habit of reading between the lines as well. Libra. This is your 10 of swords person. This is the person that's hurt you in the past. You know, they just got the Ten of Swords. You had it in the uh, beginning of the reading. So I feel like at the same time, though, I think that this person has also went through, you know, has been dealt a blow, you know, has went through some painful things that they really needed to learn from and grow from. Now, whether they've actually done that growth to be determined, but they are making the decision to move forward and communicate with you. Okay. And like I said, if this is a person that has hurt you in the past and now they're wanting to talk, they're wanting to communicate about that. It's like, I feel like Libra, you're like, your approach to this situation will be very different due to past disappointments, you know. Um, and I feel like that may confuse this person. I wanted to say shock, but I got the Seven of Cups. I thought for sure I was going to get the tower out. But I got the Seven of Cups. Yeah, it confuses them. Here's your energy. Hello. What are they confused by? You, Libra. <laughs> because now they're like, well, I don't really, that wasn't what I was expecting, you know. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. You know, if they're if they've always been uh, used to you reacting in a certain way or used to you behaving in a certain way, and you change that energy up on them, it's like puts them in the two uh, pentacles. Like, okay, well, hmm, you know, maybe I didn't think this all the way through. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like kind of like a vacillating energy um, because I think this person genuinely wants you know, to give you their time and energy. They genuinely want to give to the situation, move it forward, come out of the Ten of Swords feeling, you know, but at the same time, they've showed you so many different faces of them and really hurt you, I feel, that, that there's a lot of skeptical energy here now, okay? Page of Swords. A lot of skeptical energy here. If you're not talking to this person, say like you have them blocked or something, then they're definitely um, watching from afar. For the few of you that have someone like blocked on social media, maybe. All right. Three, uh, no, you have the Two of Wands too. You're kind of at a crossroads here, kind of looking at the situation, Libra. 
weighing it up yourself, definitely honed into your intuition. Oh yeah, don't ignore your intuition, Libra. You've, you've felt this before. You know this. So I feel like, yeah, you're going to be um, honing in on, on that to, to try and feel the situation out, you know. <laughs> you might be having dreams about the situation and or a lot of subconscious messages being sent to you, synchronicities being sent to you, tapping into your more spiritual vibe here with the moon here. Yep. So, interesting reading, Libra. It's similar to Aquarius's reading. So, if you have Aquarius or Gemini in your chart, definitely go check out those as well. Um, or if you're dealing with one. You could also certainly be dealing with a Virgo. Uh, definitely a Leo for some of you. Could be, to a lesser degree, Aries Sag or... Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be dealing with another Libra. Pisces. Yeah. So those are the predominant zodiac signs I have out, but it's going to be different for all of you. It is a general reading, so keep that in mind. Um, also, please uh, check out my social media uh, links they're all down below Facebook Instagram and I have another YouTube that's just a smaller page it's like a vlog I just kind of randomly do stuff over there um, but you could check that out by clicking on the little arrow that clicks down and then it'll pull open the box with all the links below also you could click on the pink hoodie it'll take you into my shop but there's $15 off for the holiday sale if you enter promo code TTWD you should be able to get that there and in addition to being able to subscribe for free, and please do if you haven't, you can now also become a private member if you click the blue join button um, for a small nominal monthly fee. You could become a private member and get extra videos, extra time with me, private chats, things like that. So check it out. Wishing you the best, Libra. Till next time. Namaste. Bye.